Hello, this is Artifacts of Mars, and here's an advertisement. The only reason I know about this is that they keep advertising on the radio with their PSAs. Well, uh, they have this great revelation. Kids who see tobacco advertising are more likely to smoke. Gee. Advertising works? This is a great revelation? This is your tax dollars at work. It's a fact. Research shows that kids who shop at stores with tobacco marketing two or more times a week are 64% more likely to start smoking than their peers that don't. Duh. This is like some great revelation that these geniuses have figured out, and we haven't. Unbelievable. Let's take a look at the other page. It's not going to be a long video. What is the purpose of this campaign? The purpose of this media campaign is to educate New Yorkers about dangers of the tobacco industry, marketing in retail stores, and the effect this marketing has on New York's youth. Gee. Advertising works. Are these people really this stupid? Why are you talking about tobacco marketing in stores rather than a more important issue? Ta ta tobacco use is the leading cause of preventable deaths in the nation across didn't even have the word is there. Tobacco use, the leading cause of preventable deaths in the nation, and it cost New York taxpayers more than $8 billion annually in health care costs. So that's bad grammar. I might rasp them on that. Tobacco use, the co leading cause of preventable deaths. Retail stores are the main channel of communication from the tobacco industry. They spend more money to uh, market their products and junk food, soda, alcohol industries combined. Well, they're going after those too. 75% of teens shop in convenience stores at least once per week and research shows but exposure to tobacco marketing is primary cause of youth smoking. Gee, advertising works. This is what drives me crazy about these people. I gotta see if the uh, radio spot I'll play, you know, putting this on hold. Hang on. Thank you. Have a nice day. Ugh, did you see all that tobacco marketing in there? Marketing? I didn't see anything. Come on, they had a whole display of cigarette packs. That's tobacco marketing? Yeah, it's in our convenience stores, gas stations, drug stores. And studies show the more of it kids see, the more likely they are to smoke. Wow, our kids have seen enough. How can I protect them from tobacco marketing? You can take action at TobaccoFreeNYS.org. Alright, that's ad number one. We'll take a look at ad, well, we'll take a listen to ad number two. Well, I don't think it's going to come up. It says it's loading. Uh... Three things you should know. One, there's tobacco marketing in your neighborhood store. That big display of cigarettes behind the counter, that's marketing. Two, the more tobacco marketing kids see in stores, the more likely they are to smoke. That may be hard to believe, but study after study has proven it's true. Three, you can help stop in-store tobacco marketing to children. Take action at TobaccoFreeNYS.org. Now they're 
waste of our tax dollars. Basically, advertising and telling people that advertising works. Gee, you can go to any advertising agency and they'll tell you advertising works. Well, this is uh, Fax Mars just showing you that this is uh, your tax dollars at work. Advertising works. Da. What a revelation. I'm Artifacts of Mars.